Federal prosecutors have hinted at a motive in the attack on Salman Rushdie two years ago. The man accused of stabbing the world-renowned author, blinding him in his right eye, faces new federal charges, including providing support to a terrorist organization. Join your side's Rob Hackford is back from federal court tonight to explain what's in the newly unsealed indictment. Rob? Yeah, Scott and Mary Ellis, federal prosecutors allege that Hadi Matar was motivated by a fatwa or Islamic edict put out by Hezbollah Secretary General here, Hassan Nasrallah, uh, who called for Rushdie's death back in 2006. Matar pleaded not guilty to the new federal charges in downtown Buffalo this afternoon, including terrorism transcending national boundaries, providing and attempting to provide material support to terrorists as well. The charges are separate from the ones that Matar faces for attempted murder and assault after he allegedly carried out the attack on Salman Rushdie, who was speaking at the Chautauqua Institution again two summers ago. Matar has maintained his innocence through that state case, which is set to go to trial in October. Matar's attorney explaining how this federal case could impact the state case going forward. It's, it's going to, at the very least, um, just um, raise some concerns and some issues with what happens at that trial. So we have to be a little more cognizant. We have to be a little bit more aware of certain things that might come up or might not come up during that trial that could be used later on federally. Yeah, Barone adding that the federal charges his client is facing take a different type of proof as well compared to the state charges, which he said are more tangible. Well, today's indictment, he said, the result of a lengthy investigation involving multiple law enforcement agencies, both nationally and internationally. On your side in the studio, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.